Thank you. Anything else? Uh, Mr. Go? Chair, I'm about to conclude. Okay, thank you. I just have one quick question for Pidea. Pidea, sir, palagi pong nababanggit itong narco list, even from the time of the three Chinese drug lords to the time of PCSO Board Secretary Wesley Barayuga, and now we are confronted by the killing incident as alleged by Kerwin committed against Mayor Espinosa, who allegedly was included as well in the narco list. Can you please enlighten us? Ito ho ba chinek nyo? If during that time, the name of Mayor Espinosa indeed appear in the narco list? Uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, yes, uh, the names of uh, the father and son appear in the original list. The Kerwin is uh, listed as a drug trafficker. Uh, the father is only... The category of the father, whether pusher or trafficker, is not listed. But in the list, he is already uh, indicated as neutralized. So, uh, you know, he was, uh, I mean, w he was dead already. Would you neutralize because dead? Yes. Would you know, Pideya, kung kailan po napasama dun sa narco list? Was it the after the killing incident or subsequent to the killing incident? The, in the original list, uh, it was already after the death of... Uh, if Mayor you are Espinoza. saying, Pidea, that it was after the incident, ibig sabihin po, patay na si Mayor Espinosa nung napasama sa drug list? Ganun ho ba yun? Uh, no, Your Honor. What happened is that Mayor Espinosa is included in the list, but however, as the, as the period or as it... Uh, as the drug campaign continued, he would eventually in, be indicated as neutralized. So we could not ascertain whether he was a drug pusher, drug user, or uh, whatever was his participation, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, I wish to manifest this, this drug list, the narco list, is indeed very controversial. As a matter of fact, as we go along our investigation, I have been asking our resource bigger, whether during the hearing or off the hearing, as to the origin, the people who validated, the veracity, and no one can indeed vouch as to the genuineness of the names which were included in the list. So I just want to raise this concern that uh, being included in the list would really, would really compromise not only the safety but the entire life of the people who are in this list. So I hope we can come up with something validate and come up with the true personalities who must be included in the narco list, Mr. Chair. To conclude, Mr. Chair, for whatever motive does Kerwin Espinosa have today, we welcome the information he gave, subject, of course, to stringent scrutiny. While recantation of testimony, samantalang ang pagbawi ng testimonya, is frowned upon by the court. This will give us an opportunity to re-examine what really transpired relative to the raid on the house of Mayor Espinosa, the raid and killing against Mayor Espinosa, which happened in Baybay Leyte, including the indictment and the incarceration of our resource speaker, and including those he named, which includes the former Senator Laila de Lima. It is clear, Mr. Chair, that the government continued the fight against illegal drugs as it is indeed a menace to the Philippine society. But let us all be reminded, in a civil society like ours, we need to observe the rule of law. No less than the Philippine Constitution provides, Section 1, Article 3, no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, and property without due process of law. What happened to Kerwin and his father, if indeed true, is a complete violation of this constitutional guarantee. We laud the Quadcom, which includes this representation, in initiating the bill which criminalized in a higher sense the extrajudicial killing. Mr. Chair, to conclude my interpellation, dahil nung nasa siya, si Kerwin, 
pinagbigay siya ng mensahe to certain personalities. Today, I wish to request Kerwin. Can you please give your message para kay Laila de Lima, kay General Bato, at kay Presidente Duterte na lahat napanggit mo kanina sa iyong testimonya? Um, una sa lahat, humingi ako ng kung ma'am, kung nagsubaybay ka ngayon sa hearing dito sa Quadcom, um, patawarin niyo po ako na nadala sa o na uto-uto sa panahon na yon na idamay ka po na walang katotohanan naman at ang picture na yon nagkataon lang na puma pumasyal ang pamilya ko sa baybay at nakita tayo at nagpapicture ako yon ang ginawa nilang ebidensya ma'am taos ko uh, sa kalubloobang from the From my heart, I ask, sorry. Sorry talaga po, ma'am. At kung ano mang plano mo sa ginawa kong pagbuat-buhat o sala o kalambigitan sa droga o kung sa imong buhaton, andam ko mo dawat, ma'am. Pero ang ako alang ihangyo, mga ayaw ko ni mo pasaylo sa akong gibuhat kay na pressure yung ragyud ko ma'am na looy ko sa akong mga anak nagagmay pa kayo atong panahon na patay na akong papa o ako mamatay magunsa na lang akong mga anak mong gibuhat na ko na buhat buhatan ka o magtumo-tumo o istorya kabahin sa kalambigitan sa droga once again sorry kayo ma'am Handa po akong um, harapin kung ano, kung ano ang plano mo sa akin po. Mr. Ah. Chair, can we please have a translation of what he said? The last that I know, I'm, I'm the chair of the committee, but now I can become the translator and the interpreter. Ang sabi po ni, ni Kerwin Espinosa, siya ho ay humihingi ng kapatawaran kay... Senator Laila de Lima sa kanyang uh, uh, ginawang uh, mga statement implicating her sa usapin tungkol sa droga at uh, gumawa ng kwento. No? Gumawa sila ng kwento uh, para ma, uh, ano siya, ma, ma, masama dun sa kwento, sa narrative ng uh, pagkaka-involve ni Senator de Lima sa usapin sa droga. At sabi naman niya, na handa rin siyang harapin kung ano man yung aksyon na gagawin ni Senator Dilima kay, uh, kay Carwin Espinosa. Does, does that satisfy the good congresswoman from Batangas? I am totally not familiar with Visayan language. How about your message to Senator Bato? Um, sir, Bato de la Rosa, sana po magbago na tayo na iwasan natin na gumagawa o gumagawa lang ng senaryo dahil sa politika na masira ang isang tao kasi hindi kalyado natin wag na, iwasan na po natin at wag na natin gawin na ipuros uh, pilitin na gumawa ng kwento para lang ma-pin down ang isang tao. Yun lang po ang mabigay ko kay Senator De La Rosa na mensahe. At sa ating Pangulo, sa ating Pangulo noong ang ma, ma ano ko lang kasi pinagbigyan ako na makapagbigay ng mensahe, um, Mr. Duterte, sana po um, i-validate nyo po bawat report na marinig mo sa iyong paligid na ganito, ganyan, ganyan.
si Pulano. Um, i-validate nyo ng maigi para walang taong masaktan. Lalo na ngayon na uh, tumakbo ka ng mayor, uh, huwag kang magpasulsol sa mga nakapaligid sa'yo. Yun lang po. Last, Mr. Chair, I understand that your family went through a lot because of this incident. If your father is watching you right now, anong mensahe mo kay Mayor Espinosa? Um, ang mensahe ko kay Daddy, Ang minsay ko sa daddy ko, di kung saan ka ba naroon, huwag mo kaming abayaan, i-guide mo kami hanggat makuha ang hostesya ng iyong pagkamatay. <laughs> Salamat sa lahat na pinadama mo sa amin nung ikaw ay nasa Kapiling ka pa namin ng bilang ama. Basta di lahat gagawin namin ng mga anak mo. Na baka binanusisya ka ng iyong pagkamatay. Padayo na lang di sa inyo pag banaw. Ayaw na kayo unaw na ang naitabo ka di mo. Kaya ako di ang namamatay para makuha lang yung ustisya di mo. Minsan to sa inyo pagkamatay, wala na talang kita. Nandun ka ron. I love you. Okay, love sige. Maraming salamat, Kerwin. Uh, anything else, uh, Congresswoman uh, Luistro? I conclude, Mr. Chair. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Uh, before we proceed, uh, 